Here's a series of one, two, three future cash flows at various points in time. So let's put them on a timeline and get started. So the first cash flow of 5,000 occurs one year from today. The second cash flow of 3,000 occurs two years from today. And the third cash flow of 4,000 occurs six years from today. Now in this problem, we are asked to find the present value of these cash flow. So we're looking for PV at time zero. And so that's today's one time cash equivalent of this series of cash flows. And so since we're starting with cash flows in the future and calculating the present value, we need to discount. And since we have a series, we're going to do two steps. One, we're going to discount um, each cash flow individually. So find each of their individual present values. And then a second, we'll add those up. So we're going to come back two time zero with each one of these and then add them together. Okay, so let's add some numbers here. So PV at time zero is the present value of the first cash flow. And since that first cash flow happens at time one, we're only going back one period, so the exponent there is a one. Second cash flow, its present value in the denominator, it has an exponent of two, since it happens at time two. And then the third cash flow, when we discount it, it has a denominator of six, since it occurs in year six. And so we can sum those up and we'll get the answer, which is 10,335.68. And so at the end of the day, we're indifferent between this amount today and this series of future cash flows.